But in that decision of, that was the only way I had to say yes or no. I could not have any more. Yes, know. naturally. In many situations in life, you have to say yes or no. If somebody asks you, will you marry me? You have to say yes or no. You cannot keep it. There are people who keep it going for years. I just say yes or no. Some people don't, don't name their children for years. There's a four-year-old child who's not named because parents can't decide which name. Right? So the mind always finds that possibility of something better. At some stage, you have to decide this is good enough. And the way you do that is by making a list of your yardsticks. Write them down. Right? So in my house, I want what? Write it down. But first, obviously, the price band. What is that price band? In that price band, what is the square feet or whatever it is that's important to you? Area. Make that yardstick. Because the mind will always tell you that there is a better opportunity somewhere else. And that possibility will always exist. Right? Like we are buying the land for the thing. Now we've got three, three plots which are available to us. We can choose between one of these three, which I'm hoping we will do. Or we can say, no, let's wait. Maybe we get a better one. Now, we never buy a property. We never buy that land only if we want a better one. Something has to be just good enough. So make first a list of the things that you will not move from. Like in our case, 25 acres of land. We have to get that one way or the other. Right? or near Mumbai, or whatever. None of these are very thing, but for us, water, electricity, road are the three more main things that have to be there. Now, for you buying an urban property, you don't have to consider this, but make a list what you will not compromise on. And then make a list of compromisables, but desirable. If your, com if your property, whatever you choose, has all the non-compromisable and many of the desirables, it's good enough for you. That's how you engage. But now at the moment, since you're saying you're traumatized, just forget about it for the moment because you'll just irritate the mind more and more. For a moment, just forget it. Close the book. Thank you. Thank you.